All right, this is lesson 7.4, part two. We just finished off looking at how to simplify the radical expression 50x squared. We figured out that 50 has a perfect square of 25 in it, and we figured out that the square root of x squared is just x. And we simplified that, and let me grab my highlighter right here, we simplified that to 5x rad two. That's how you say this expression up here, I'll highlight in yellow. This is 5x rad two, and that's pretty much true. But there's just this one little nitpicky detail that we're going to have to talk about, and I'll try to be um, as brief as I can so not to get you too confused. But when we have expressions involving variables, we have this rule called the even-even-odd rule, the even-even-odd rule. And that has to do with the fact that when we're simplifying radical expressions, we really are just looking for the principal root. And when we have variables, we have to be precise in our final answer. And it's possible, it's possible for us to have... Well, let's think about this. Let's just think about something in its most basic form. There is a, a radicand with a variable in it. And um, what we want to make sure is that when we get our outcome, this seems like a reasonable thing to say, that the square root of x squared is x. But we have to make sure that our final answer is a non-negative, non-negative result. And we might just need to clarify things a little bit. If we have this example right now, let's just consider for a, sec a second, what if x equals negative 3? Okay, so that means I'm going to replace the x with negative 3 here. So the square root of negative 3 squared equals negative 3. Uh-oh, and that's true. The square root of 9 could possibly be negative 3, but negative 3 is not the principal root. That's not the principal root. So the only thing we have to do here to ensure that our outcome is the non-negative result is just do this, right? And then we'd be all set. So here's the even, even, odd rule in a nutshell. The even, even, odd rule is only for variables. Even, even, odd. Even, even, odd. So if we're looking for the even root, square root is an example of that. Looking for the even root of an even exponent and the outcome is an odd exponent, we have to use the absolute value bars. Must place absolute value bars around the outcome. Just to make sure that we are giving the principal root and not a negative root. So if we really looked technically at the example I gave you in the first lesson, 25, oops, sorry, it wasn't 25x squared. It was 50x squared. Okay, that's true that we've got the 2 of the 25 going on there. So the square root of 25 is 5, bam. And now here we are, let me get my red pen back. We're looking for the even root, square root is 2, the even root of an even exponent, and the outcome is odd. We have to place absolute values around it just to ensure a non-negative root. And then we go ahead and finish this thing off with the leftovers, and that was just the 2 from the beginning. So that's the difference between <laughs> our original answer and our new answer is we're just employing that even, even, odd rule. So let's look at an, another one. Let's take the square root of 98x to the fourth y squared. Okay, so this is a new radical. We're looking at 98, and I'll stay with my black one here. 98 is 2 times 49. Okay, bingo. So we're going to go step by step through this, through this radicand. We're going to look, look for perfect squares within the number, and then within x to the fourth, and then within y squared. So x to the fourth, by the way, that's x times x times x times x. I think we all know that. And so then if we were looking for the square root of that, x to the fourth is x squared times x squared. Okay, um, and then y squared is just y times y. All right, so let's simplify this expression. We're going to go ahead and look for all of our perfect squares. I'll grab my highlighter. That's a perfect square right there. All right, x to the fourth is a perfect square, and we know that it's x squared times x squared, and then, and then the y. So the square root of 49 is 7. Fantastic. The square root of x to the fourth is x squared. I have 2x squared. I take out just the 1x squared. Square root of x to the fourth is x squared. And that is even root, even exponent, even outcome. So I don't need to use my absolute value bars. Remember, the rule is even, even, odd. And now, 
I have the square root of y squared, and that's just y, and I have to use the absolute value bars. And then I still have a leftover 2, and that's my final answer.